hello all so in this video we will discuss data link layer so the main functions of data link layer are data control frame synchronization flow control error control addressing and link management clear so all this we have already seen in osi model so uh, the very important function of data link layer is framing so uh, what is framing framing means uh, if, we, if we are having a very long bit stream then we break them into frames and breaking this bit stream into frames is called framing now we have many methods to discuss uh, this framing that is framing methods so first one is character count second one is starting and ending character with character stuffing third one is character starting and ending flags with bit stuffing and fourth one is physical layer coding violation okay so fourth one is very rarely used okay in fact uh, first one is also very rarely used nowadays and nowadays we are not using any of these methods we will combine one or two methods or one or many methods and to ha have advantages of all these methods we will combine the plus points of all this and we use in practical scenario so uh, practical scenario is a different thing so let's discuss it first theoretically the individual methods so first one is character count so in this method a header is used to specify the number of characters in the frame means suppose in a frame we are having three characters so first we will have one header three and let's say here is one and two so this three will indicate that this three will indicate that the number of characters in the frames are three similarly we have suppose five characters next frame so here five then any characters two four eight nine and so on so this five will indicate that in total one two three four five in this frame we are having five characters so this is character count method now obviously the drawback is suppose an error occurs then what will happen this character count will change and so there will be a loss of data okay so this is the obvious thing the obvious disadvantage of character count and that's why we introduce a new method called starting and ending character with character stuffing so in this what we do we use some ascii character sequence so each frame is preceded by transmission of ascii sequence dle stx now what is dle dle is data link escape and stx means start of text okay so here s and tx from text is being combined and it is written as stx and similarly at the end we have dle etx here etx stands for end text here yeah? so what does it do suppose i am having my data p q r clear so this is the data from network layer from suppose we are at sender side now so from network layer this is the data which is being given to data link data link layer so now the framing will be done by data link layer so by using this method what we will do this stx and dle we will add this data is as it is that is p q and r and then again at the end we will use dle and etx clear so this is the method called starting and ending character with character stuffing but over here where is character stuffing so let's discuss that what's the drawback of this the drawback of this that if our data itself contains this dle then what happens 
so obviously if dle stx or dle etx is a part of our data only then there will be a error because receiver may mis misinterpreted okay so at the receiving side we cannot get proper thing so for that what we will do we will use character stuffing now what character stuffing means it means that the data link layer at sending side will insert ASCII DLE character just before each accidental DLE character in data which is to be transmitted right so what data link layer will do this data link layer will simply uh, at the sending side will insert a DLE character in between so that suppose P then DLE and a Q okay is our data so framing is done like this that STX then we will have DLE then our data P then our DLE and this is Q and then again at the end we have DLE and STX now what data link layer will do it will add one more DLE over here and that's why we call it stuffing character and this is stuffed character or stuffed DLE okay so clearly this is our now this is our whole data and at the end what receiver will do receiver will remove this stuff data okay and it will consider only this so whatever is that sending side will be reached at the receiving side okay yeah? so this is simple which will so this is the whole method that this starting and ending character with character stuffing okay yeah? so uh, what the disadvantage can you guess the disadvantage of this yes the disadvantage is that we have to use this ASCII characters which are 8 bit sequence so what we will do we will move to next method so the next method is starting and ending flags with bit stuffing so what in this in this technique it is similar to the previous one just we are using a specific bit pattern to detect the starting and ending that is 0 triple 1 and triple 1 0 and it is also called flag byte so at the sending side this flag byte is being transmitted okay so now why it is called bit stuffing same as above the character stuffing whenever sender so here, over here we are having six consecutive ones so whenever uh, we detect six consecutive ones then we can say that it is our starting so what happens when our data itself consists of the six consecutive ones so for that purpose this bit stuffing is used so whenever a sender data link layer detects the presence of five consecutive ones okay so in the in data string then what it will do it will automatically stuff one zero in between them okay so that it can never be misinterpreted as this okay starting and ending bits and so the whole process go smoothly now let's move ahead by taking a small example so let me take one example which consists this five or fix five consecutive ones so now this is our data which is to be transmitted one two three four five six yeah six okay then zero then again one two three 
फोर फाइव सिक्स राइट नाउ ओरिजिनल दिस इज आवर ओरिजिनल डेटा नाउ द आउट गोइंग स्ट्रीम विच इज बींग फ्रेम बाय दिस डेटा लिंक लेयर वी लुक्स लाइक अगेन जीरो ट्रिपल वन एंड देन ट्रिपल वन जीरो आवर स्टार्टिंग फ्लैग बाइट देन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो आई एम राइटिंग दिस जीरो वन जीरो जीरो देन अप टू फाइव वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ओके नाउ बिटवीन दिस इट विल इंसर्ट वन मोर जीरो एंड देन कंटिन्यू विद दिस वन जीरो ओके सो दिस जीरो इज बींग इंसर्टेड देन अगेन इट विल कंटिन्यू विद दिस वन जीरो देन अगेन वन 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 देन अगेन वन स्टफ्ड जीरो एंड देन अगेन कंटिन्यूइंग विथ वन द ओरिजिनल डेटा सो एंड एट द एंड ऑब्वियसली वी विल हैव जीरो ट्रिपल वन एंड ट्रिपल वन जीरो सो दिस इज अवर फ्लैग बाइट एट द एंड एंड दिस इज एट start and this is our data and this two are called stuffed zeros okay so there will never be a misinterpretation in such cases and that's why the method is a very good method in practice we will use more than one more than one combination of this methods okay so that's all for this thank you